All right, come on in. Come on in, come on in. Start typing something when you see me. Type one when you see me in the chat. We have no countdown. Let me share it on all my pages. Come on in, come on in. We are live, 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 live. Type one, type one. When you We're not doing no intro. No We're going straight into it. This pages. episode's an hour and 10 minutes. Live, live, live. Here we go. Like the video, like the video. Oh no, I lost it. There it is. Gotta do my nerd stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the broadcast. I hope you're doing well. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. You've been waiting for this for a whole decade. Episode two. Oh wait, not a decade. Seven days. Episode two of The Chosen Season 3. Now let me lay some ground rules here. Well, there is no ground rules. The only ground rule is don't come up here and spamming how you don't like The Chosen, how it's this and it's that. Listen, I need every Linda in here to listen. We beg for people to make Christian movies. We complain about all the demonic movies out there and all the bad things that are in the movie theaters. And then they make a godly movie about the Bible and y'all still complain. So do me a favor, leave your complaining at the door. If you don't want to watch The Chosen, then don't be in the broadcast because we are watching The Chosen season three, episode two. So keep all your conspiracies, all your hates, put it in another broadcast. Go to another broadcast and type in the comments because we just you, we just don't want to hear it, honestly. I mean, you're, you're in line for hours to watch Marvel movies, but you complained about The Chosen. So I don't want to hear complaining. I don't want to hear any crying about it. We're going to watch it tonight. It's going to be amazing. Thank you, Dallas Jenkins, for making this show. I love it. I appreciate it. All right, a thousand of you in here already. It's going to be a spicy night. An hour and 10 minutes. Episode two. Can't wait. Here we go. Again, no crying. Get your snack. I have tonight, you know, just a wholesome bottle of Fiji water. Okay, look at I don't know. My wife got me this, so maybe I should just watch it like I'm underwater or watch it through the bottle. But usually we have Costco tonight. We have Fiji, so it's an extra special night when I have Fiji water out. Let me just take a sip. Make sure it's nice and fresh. Oh, yeah, I could tell that came right from Fiji. Yep, yep. Tastes just like the Fiji. Yep, for sure. Filtered through volcanic rock. Oh, yeah, that tastes like Fiji. I feel like I'm in Fiji right now. All right, here we go. Let me turn this off now. Put this here. Turn the music off. Sorry, I have to turn the synth wave off. I know you guys were bobbing your head and loving it, but here we go. I'll try not to talk too much. I don't want to be like your annoying cousin that talks throughout the entire movie, but you know, when I have something to say, I might say it here and there. Who knows? Okay, make sure you're watching on HD as well. Please make sure you're watching on HD. Don't come up in here. It's all blurry. You got to put it on HD. That's your fault, not mine. So go ahead right now and hit the HD button, the little gear icon, the cog wheel. Click that 1080p 60 frames. Don't blame me. Okay, I have very expensive cameras, very expensive equipment. Don't blame me that you have it on 360p and you're watching it like you're like you're watching a Minecraft video or something. I don't know what to tell you about that. All right, here we go. Let's watch this. Oh, I'm excited. Here we go. I got earphones on nice and loud, so get the full effect. Make sure you have it nice and loud. Here we go. Oh, last thing. We will be watching with subtitles. Okay, 80% of you already voted for subtitles, so just we're watching with subtitles. What do you make of this? Creamy? They're here for Jesus of Nazareth. It is understandable. You don't think this poses a problem to the order of law? Uh, yes, sir. I only meant that... Quintus is gonna come out of his sandals when he sees this. Something in your personal life? No, sir. I am fit for duty, sir. That's fine. You know, secrets... like murders eventually become known. Eventually.
You ought to be the first to let Quintus know about his new shanty town. Yeah? Come. Type one if it sounds good to you guys. Type one in the chat if it sounds good. Concern, don't you think? Very concerned. Scott. What are you doing? They can't have a fire so close to a canvas structure. It's it's Capernaum law. Since when do you care about the law? If they keep it, it draws Roman attention and it will put him at risk. Uh oh, we got What are you going to do? Tell them no fires. Have it your way. Excuse me. There's no room here. No fires fewer than nine cubits from a canvas structure. It's a hazard. But that would put it within nine cubits of that tent. Then you're going to have to figure something out. We can't have trouble. Who's we? Are you one of his disciples? Where is he in Capernaum? Who's, who said he's in Capernaum? That's why we're all here. When will his next sermon be? We have to hit it. He's the one, isn't he? He didn't say that on the mouth. But it has to be true. Why did he not speak of overthrowing Rome? How is fire patrol working for you? These crowds are going to be difficult to handle. Hard for us. Yes, Jesus can handle himself. He wants the crowds. There's too many people. Too many to go around telling people how to make dinner. You have to pick your battles, my friend. Here we go. Let's get some ones in the chat here. And listen. The person that keeps spamming Hail Satan, all I could say to you is Satan's a loser and get blocked. This is good, thank you. Not really. Our current batch isn't very good. I've been traveling and I haven't had good wine, so this is fine. How were your travels? We'd love to hear more about them. They were good, thank you. Are you sure? You've lost weight. Have you been eating enough? Um, I used to eat too much. No, you didn't. You looked healthy when I saw you. I hope- Ellie. He said it was good. I like your beard. Mm, thank you. How did you handle sleeping outside? I'm better at it now. 
I'm proficient at making a tent, and I've also learned how to strip bark for dry wood. Philip is my friend. You have a friend? Yesterday, my rabbi said that every time we pray to God, we must ask him to forgive us our debts. And I recognize that I owe quite a debt to you. Matthew, you don't owe us any money. The debt isn't material. Yeah. I hurt you, and I hurt our community. And, and my rabbi also said that before we lay a sacrifice at the altar, if we know a brother has an offense against us, we should leave the sacrifice there and go be reconciled. Uh, of course, only priests lay gifts at the altar, and, and, and you are not my brother, but uh, this example is in many ways a metaphor which I'm learning. And yes, Matthew, we get it. Move on. I never understood why I was so different from everyone else. I just wanted a comfortable life. You wanted to be better than everybody. Oh, yes. No. You're right. And I loved affluence because of it. I was comfortable behind bars in a boot and the armed escort behind the gold door. All the while, you were scored in that synagogue. You lost your reputation and friends. I shamed our family. I turned my back on our people, and I believe the choices I made were better for me and more important than my family and faith. That was selfish, which is wrong. I, I, I didn't understand that then, but, but I do now, and I'm sorry. I, I wish I could take back the harm I caused you. I, uh... All right, all right. I, I will search for something I can do to atone. Matthew, sit down. I prefer to stand. Please. I don't deserve the courtesy. You're not the only one who must atone. Are you hungry? I lost my business because of you. And you are correct. We lost our reputations and friends. I know. But I had no right to reject you as my son. God should strike me down for the things I said to you. I was shameful. Can you forgive me? I only made things worse. I'm sorry. We're sorry. But what, but what has changed? I sinned. We saw him too, Matthew. Oh. We heard his sermon. He is the teacher you are following. <laughs> yes, he called me and I... And you have already atoned. They were the most true words I have ever heard. Some of it shocking. I know, I wrote it all down. You are his scribe. Yes. <laughs> you will redeem our family's name. Matthew, he chose you. To this day, I don't know why. All right, if my eyes water, it's just allergies, everybody. I got allergies, that's all. You say you always felt different from other people. And you are, you were set aside for something special. Thank you. Thank you, Iman. Say it. Thank you, Eva. <laughs> Alpheus? What? 
Forgive him. I did. No, you didn't. You must say it. I forgive you, son. Thank you. Thank you, Abba. Thank you, Abba. <laughs> How long are you in Capernaum? Uh, I don't know. B but I promise to make amends as long as I'm here. You have. Aha! Wait right here. I'm glad I didn't throw this away. I will never live in that home again. So what? Give it away. Tear it down. Burn it if you want. Why would I do that? You'll find something to do with it. Till then, you can take any floor in the house. <laughs> oh, it's so oh. good! So good! Oh, that was such a good scene. And you! A lot of crying Is emojis in the chat here. Like that. Drink it! Drink it! Bureaucrats. Quintus. My old friend. Oh, are you busy? Fix the water. Fix the water, Octavius. If I see another drop of sewage in my water, I will personally drown you in it. So help me Apollo, Octavius. You will gargle sewage. Vivid. I think, I think he gets it. You got that, right? Uh, he's gonna drown you in the, um... Well, you know, I will find the breach. Dominance. I will oversee the project, Peter. You do that. Brown water make you deaf. Go, do it now. Watch the talent leave their bodies when they arrive from Rome. You could keep time by it. Good help. It's these people. This land. It's going to force me to do something drastic. Work? I'm capable of anything. Hail Caesar. Now, what do you want? Yes, Breeder. Just beyond the western perimeter of the city, a camp has sprung up. So send them on their way. They are pilgrims, Dominus. The pilgrims to what? To whom? Jesus of Nazareth. Ah. Uh. He delivered the sermon on the Kerosene Plateau. Stop. He delivered it. And you're just telling me now. And then he's building a hut. And now he's relieving himself. Quintus, neither Gaius nor myself have that many hours in the day. Don't speak for the men in my command. Please. This feels a little more significant than relieving himself. Gaius, what was said? It sounded like any other sermon, Dominus. Is that what you heard, Cohortes? Just any old sermon. Well, now I, I haven't heard that many. Uh, let's see. Lengthy instructions about, uh, I don't know, what was it? Something about animal hooves? Always read from right to left. Jewish stuff. If it was so boring, why didn't they stay on the plateau? Did Jesus lead them here? No, Dominus, no one knows where Jesus is. But many of his followers reside in the city. Was our former tax collector there? Matthew? Yes. Well, who cares anyway? Just get rid of them. Dominus? Pack them up. Force them out. We are still Rome. Or you could turn them into revenue. How? Redraw the city boundary to encompass the squatters. They're not currently on our census. All the better for you. 
They're not paying taxes wherever they came from, which means other Preters... Ledgers are down. I get it. The Pilgrims have been peaceful to this point. I cannot say how they will respond to being taxed. <laughs> You'd better get some rest then, guys. My plan is to redraw the city lines and redraw them fast. We're behind this one. There he is. <laughs> it is a good plan, Quintus. <laughs> but, as you carry it out, you may want to consider your future. My future? Don't be coy. As you well know, the Empire is always concerned with order. Of course. The governors are under increasing pressure not to overuse force on the citizenry. Pressure from Caesar. Hail. Fine. Gaius, I need you to do your job without leaving marks. I will instruct the men, Dominus. How about you, Cohortes? Will you be moving along soon? Yeah, I will be headed to Jerusalem soon. Ah, delightful place. I owe Pilate a visit. So much to catch up on. Wonderful. Ima, what if you sewed a little pouch on the inside of our belts? It could be for raisins, like an emergency stash. Mm -hmm. I spent so many nights what? dreaming about these little squares, Ima. The cinnamon and fig ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I will load you boys up like back mules. You will not go hungry on the road again. You, you, you. <laughs> Thomas! Taste this. What is it? Do you think I would poison you? <laughs> Olive oil. Go on. Really good. <laughs> and he knows a lot about flavor from the wine business. So what is the point of all of this? I made it. <laughs> I traded one of the guys at the dock for a little press. I can only make a few vials at a time. What for? It's a ceremonial Wait, do place. people drink olive but oil? What it's also world? delicious. Your Abba is very good at making oil. <laughs> I love doing it. <laughs> There's none left. I think I'm gonna ask Rema to marry me. I knew it! <laughs> there we go, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna make a fine husband. Hey, I'd marry you. Uh, do your fathers know each other? Uh, my father is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. May he rest in peace. Oh, got an older brother? No. Then who can arrange? Her father is aware of my intentions. This is not unheard of. Samson chose his own wife. Yeah, not exactly a model Israelite. Uh, David chose Abigail. Also, not the best example. Boys, give the men a chance. Have you spoken with your rabbi about this? The next time I see him, I'll share my intentions. I've searched my heart, and I know it's right. Jesus will make it work. Come on, let's see Jesus. Where are you at, Jesus? We need more Jesus in this episode. Kids watching, kids watching. Are you going to be here the whole time I do this? Yes. No, 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 Right. Your cooking is a powerful incentive. If they want to eat, they will stay in their room quietly. Okay, we're quiet now. Sorry. Won't they get bored? No, they both have so much to study. Oh, and you don't? Of course I do. 
But, you know, I think you could help me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, let's study. Come on. Yeah. Uh-huh. I have much to learn. Yes, yes, they're married. Everybody relax, okay, in the chat. <laughs> you, it's that fermented liquid. What, this? There's no wine on public property. Only in your private home or tavern. This is my home. Primmy? Let them have it. So he should duck inside, drink it, and come back out? What difference would that make? Yes, Primmy. How are we going to redraw the city limits when they keep arriving in such numbers? You'll have to do it over and over again to encompass them all. Gaius. I heard you, Julius. I think tonight my time would be better spent elsewhere. You will finish the evening rounds. Enforce protocol patiently. And give me a full report in the morning. We're almost at 2,000 viewers. Do us a favor and share, like, and do all the other stuff. Thank you. <laughs> this doesn't say comment, but you guys are already commenting like crazy. Is the show Mormon? No, it's not Mormon. Don't listen to fake news. The creator and director is Evangelical Christian. What do you want? I'm just hunting. Hunting what? You were behind a plot to murder the Roman magistrate in Jerusalem. And you were there, in the desert, at the city's gates. Why did you let me get into Jerusalem in the first place? You know the answer to that? You thought you were good enough to stop me. I liked my chances. But we'll never know. Something unexpected happened. A miracle. Yeah, if you say so. What is he, Simon? Relax, zealot, or whatever it is you are now. Look, I'm just interested to see what happens next. So, if I turn and 
walk away right now. You won't put a knife in my back. I could have done that anywhere. How do you know I won't kill you? Because your dagger is at the bottom of the Jordan River, right where he threw it. So there's that. It does leave you defenseless, though, and that's bad for you. But you just... I didn't chase you up here, Simon. You left some very dangerous men in the lurch. The order is here. Oh, you're surprised? They won't quit. Then one of us has to make them. I'm leaving Capernaum for a while. They had better follow. If they stay in Capernaum, I will be forced to clean up your mess. Can't have zealots in a Roman town. Others will come for me. Now you're getting it. Who knows? Maybe they'll see your Messiah and come to believe. <laughs> what? We're zealots, man. Then what are you doing on a rooftop chatting with a Roman? Sorry. Simon. You were a zealot. Now you're a traitor. And they won't stop. I can't believe I have you back. Here I am, where I'll always be. When you were gone this time, I had moments of feeling... Feeling what? Lost. I don't know what to call them. What did they feel like? I was angry. Sad. Well, you know, I'm a genius. We both are. Do you remember what he told you? I always remember that. It's what gets me through the days. He sees you. Yeah, that was not Simon Peter, guys. Those of you asking in the chat, that was Simon I the Zealot. So it's so different. Often. It's not Simon later Peter. But sometimes in the memory, I forget what his face looks like. What do you mean? Haven't you ever been separated from someone and you can't recall their face after a while? Do you forget my face? What? No, I don't forget your face. <sighs> Things are so good now. Yeah, we we just have to spend more time together. Mm. Yeah, I think Jesus has work to do here. And I've been thinking about our family. Well, Ima is healthy and my brothers are fishing no, 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 no. Our family. It's time. Yeah, that was Simon the Zealot. This is Simon Peter on screen. So that's Peter. The other guy was Simon the Zealot. We are really low on food and money. We'll be moved into Matthew's home by Erev Shabbat, former home. He's sharing all the details with the boys today. Where is Matthew going to stay? I hope with his family. He wants a fresh start. You would understand all about that. In any case, with no food, we'll have less to carry. But we are still low on money. <laughs> Maybe you could uh, sell some of your jewelry. It's that. It's all very personal. 
Every single piece? I said all. She's like, sell some of that jewelry. We've each given up some of our personal lives to follow Jesus. I gave up a name. But we each gained so much. Thomas says Zebedee is making olive oil now. That maybe we could take part in turning it into a business. I wonder if it could be sold as anointing oil. Only anointing oil is very specific. It's laid out in the books of Moses. It's not just olive oil. Wait, you made it through Moses? Did you talk to Thomas? Ah, uh, uh, it, it is oil with, with spices mixed in. We use them in some of our wines, cinnamon, cassia, and some other things. <clears throat> we would buy from the same vendors as the priests. Thomas would know where to get them. I think Thomas has other things on his mind. The ministry is demanding. Do not misunderstand, Rima. Thomas is a very dedicated student. And a hard worker. Yes. Thomas is a very hard worker. And smart. And very dedicated. Maybe a little distracted? What are you saying, Tamar? All right, let's all stop dancing around us and call it what it is. <laughs> Thank you. His dedication to you was obvious the moment I saw you both at the wedding. Oh, I was I was very stressed at that <laughs> wedding. It wasn't just a concern for your stress, like well, it was. You are in love with him, Rema. <laughs> That's not how it works with our people. Um, you're a Gentile, so maybe you don't understand, but love comes from marriage. Jews, Gentiles. Love is love. In our tradition, marriages are arranged by fathers. That's all she's saying. Where you come from? Do people? I'd rather not talk about where I'm from. That's OK. Of course. Thomas's feelings toward you are as plain as day. Painfully obvious. And? From what we've heard, he may be wanting to make it permanent very soon. What we are asking is, would you want to? Uh oh, it's it's uh, complicated with my father, <clears throat> and and considering considering our circumstances, this wouldn't be very traditional. But um, yes, if my father approved, I would be very. Fortunate. Hmm. Is that the Jewish way of saying that you love him and are excited? <laughs> oh. Wait, what, what was it that you heard about very soon? Did I say that? All right, I'm not trying to be that guy, but we're 40 well, minutes sure in and I haven't seen Jesus. Well, I'm sure by now most of you are aware oh, of the tent village right, that is right. rapidly growing east of Capernaum. Those are people who followed us from the mount, who are now waiting to hear more. Their numbers grow by the day, as do the suspicions of Rome. In fact, Z informed me just this morning that a few members of his former order have even journeyed here. It would appear as if we were Building an army, teacher? <laughs> well, that's one way of looking at it. I'm trying to get into the other way to look Dallas. at it. Let me know. Next season. My way. <clears throat> the correct way, you mean? Yes, Simon. Mm. Those people are like those in regions all over. They are not an army. Not yet. They are in need of rescue. And you are going to help me rescue them different kind of rescue, see. It is not sustainable for me to do all the preaching, all the healing and ministering. I've called you to Simon's home today and thank you, Eden, for hosting, because our ministry will only grow and we want it to grow till the end of the age. There will be many more followers and like those not here, all will have roles and responsibilities. Most will be disciples. Students. But I have chosen you 12 as my apostles. 
If I grew up my hair, it would look like that, so I could probably be in this. You're sending us? An apostle is the same as a messenger, one who- I know what it means, Matthew. That's why I'm asking. You are my leaders. And for this mission I have for you, it's best that you spread out and not be concentrated in one place. I... I don't understand. I'm going to go home to Nazareth for a time, and while I'm there, I'm sending you out in every direction, two by two, specifically to our people only. Every direction, Rabbi? Yes, but not to the Gentiles. Not yet. That will come in time. But to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, just as Joshua led the 12 tribes to take the promised land. You will proclaim as you go, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And while you are on this mission, you will heal the sick and the lame by anointing them with oil. You will cast out demons. Hey. You will clean. What? Why are you all looking at me like that? <laughs> uh. Could, could you just repeat that one more time? <laughs> I'm sending you out two by two, proclaiming as you go, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 10. Heal the sick, cast out demons. Uh, how soon are we talking about here? <laughs> There's that word again. I'll get to that, Simon. Hold on. Heal the sick. Cast out demons. While you are on this mission, I grant you this authority. Someday, you will have it all the time. Preach. Was that a ceremony I missed? <laughs> this is it. <laughs> don't feel any different? I don't need you to feel anything Preach. to do great things. With all due respect, Rabbi, we've only just begun as students. We're not nearly qualified enough. Why would you need us for this work? He doesn't need us. He wants us. Thank you, Seem. Very good. John, if I needed religious leaders or qualified students for my ministry, I wouldn't have chosen... <laughs> well, you'll get the point. Can we get back to the part about healing the sick for one second? <laughs> you will take nothing for your journey except the staff. No bread, no bag, no money. Not even Salome's food. Wear sandals <laughs> and do not bring an extra tunic. We can't even bring a change of clothes? Even the wandering cynic philosophers carry a second tunic. Yes, they do. And I'd like to distinguish you from the cynics. They also carry beggar's bags for people to put gold and silver coins into. And you will not do that. You received without paying. Now give without pay. Whatever town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it and stay there until you depart. And if anyone should not receive you or listen to your words, shake the dust off your feet as you leave that house or town. Do not waste your time. You said if anyone will not listen to our words. What words exactly? What are we supposed to teach? Anything you've ever heard from me. I've only ever heard the one sermon. You heard the best one anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong. They're <laughs> all so good. Uh -huh. That message was not just for the thousands that were there. It was for all who will hear it from now until the end of the age. How will they know it, you ask? Good question. Thanks for asking. You will tell them. And the places you will go are places I will soon go. So you are preparing the way for my arrival and helping ensure that more people are ready to hear the good news. The miracles you'll perform on God's authority will prove my ministry. Suppose we hit a bad streak. All the cessations turn off reject right reject us. Maybe for days. How are we to eat? What if it gets 
bad. Like, like it has with John. Cry music's coming. Listen carefully, all of you. Do not fear those who kill the body but cannot kill the soul. So, you're saying we could die? There will come a time when this will become far more difficult. When persecution is an ever-present part of your ministry. When that time comes, you will follow in my footsteps and you will know what it actually means to give up your life. I have more to teach you about that. In the meantime, this journey will not come to that. Rabbi, I have a concern. You said you're sending us out two by two. Yes, the women will stay here in Capernaum. They will help support the ministry financially. They will also minister to the tent city outside the city walls. And Zebedee will be responsible for their safety. Matthew has also selflessly donated the use of his previous home, which will serve as the new place for them to stay. I still can't understand this. You want us to go out there. No defenses, no food, no shelter. Just go out into strange land. He said not to be afraid. Fear is not a thing you just stop, Andrew. I'm going with Z then. I may be the most at risk of all of us. Great. But whatever happened to trust? Everybody, calm down. If you have a real question, ask it one at a time. I have a question. That was fast. <laughs> More of a concern, actually. Uh, I know I'm new, but Rabbi, I'd like to return to what you were saying about not bringing food or That's clothes Judas, and lying on those we minister to. Forgive me, but we cannot rely on everyone equally. I've developed some ideas on ways we can generate income to sustain our ministry in a reliable way. I appreciate that, Judas. I do. But for this journey, at least, I want you to learn what it means to fully rely on your Father in heaven, as well as those around you and those whom you serve. And for food, Big James, and for your life, John. This is what it means to follow and to lead. Teacher, even if not for this journey, now would be a good time to assign someone to manage the few resources we do have, or anything we do bring back. You have someone in mind? I nominate Matthew. He's obviously the most experienced of any of us. And believe it or not, I agree that would be prudent. I'm sorry, I'm not comfortable dealing with money again. I formally decline. Simple no would have been fine. Then no. <laughs> Matthew's the best. I nominate Judas. I nominate Judas. His experience would suit us better. Uh, I accept. Anything to help. Done. All right. Pairing up. Simon and Judas. Judas with sticky fingers. There's gonna be stolen money over here. Andrew and Philip. East to Nave. Nathaniel and Thad, south to Perea. John and Thomas, southwest to Joppa. Hmm? Big James and little James. <laughs> wait, wait, for real? Come on. They can make it a thing. Humor disarms people. West to the plains of Sharon. Matthew and Z.
What? Rabbi, you sure about that? Uh, is that a thing? You know. All the way down to Jericho. I know it's near Samaria. You'll be fine. Z, everyone is reacting to the notion of you traveling with a tax collector. What? We have not told you about Matthew's former occupation. He's a tax collector? He's no more a tax collector than you are a zealot. Wow. Listen to me. That's a word. None of you is what you were. Remember that, all of you. Oh, I felt that. I felt that. And Z, you and Matthew will be able to remember that better than anyone else. I am confident that the two of you will do and say great things because of your pasts. I know I can count on you. So that's it. You all have a lot to take in. Take a day to handle what you need to handle. There'll be a few more details tomorrow. I'll have Simon reach out. Shalom, friends. Shalom. That was the best scene so far. Best scene of season three so far, right there. Yes. Just shows the humanity. It's like these are real people. It's crazy. He didn't. This doesn't crazy change our way. family plans. I don't have to be. Not now. I can talk to Rambai. He can shorten my Do trip. Not to say anything to him. I will be fine. I just need a minute. Rabbi. Yes, Thomas. I am. I thank you for believing in me. Of course, I do. It's just that I wanted to ask. I wanted your blessing to ask for Rayma's hand. Did you hear in what direction I'm sending you? Southwest, but Gaffney lives in the southwest. <laughs> yes, he does. You will complete your mission with John. After you may visit Gaffney and complete the second part of your mission. <laughs> really? Last I heard, Gaffney was not a believer. So maybe while you're making a pitch for yourself, you can put in a good word for me. Rema? Hi. <laughs> um, what, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, is this a bad time? No, I, I, I mean, no. Actually, I was coming to find you. I've been assigned a mission. What kind of mission? Well, you're going to hear about it from the others, but I wanted to tell you myself. You're going to ask my father for permission to... You know. <laughs> uh, well, there's that. Uh, <laughs> have I been so obvious? Yes. <laughs> and I can only play dumb for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm supposed to be modest. Being around you doesn't make that easy. Yes, it's gotten... It's more difficult for me as well. But uh, wh wh why are you here right now? It's not like I'm leaving today. I, I, I didn't, didn't know when you might be leaving. And I know it's wrong for me to get involved in this, but I know my father and I should go too. But 
This mission comes first. I'll wait. Jesus knows my intentions. He's sending John and I to the Southwest to spread his word. Oh. So you'll, you'll be near Teldor? Mm-hmm. Then I will travel and wait for you there. Won't that upset your work here? I'll spread his message everywhere I go to anyone who'll listen. And besides, my father is not yet a believer. That's what Jesus said. I guess we both have our work cut out for us. Rema, I am willing to do this on my own and follow our customs. I know. But this is different. Everything about it has been. And besides, I want your visit to be successful. Yeah, we're watching this every Sunday, four o'clock Pacific. I will see you in job. <laughs> every Sunday, four o'clock, the new episode comes out. So yes, we're we'll watching it. Little James, may I have a moment? Of course. I am. Um... Forgive me, I'm uh, not always confident to speak. Slow to speak, it's a very good quality. <laughs> <clears throat> I wanted to ask you a question. Please? So you're sending us out with the ability to heal the sick and lame. Yes, that, that is what you said. Yes. So you're telling me that I have the ability to heal that difficult to imagine with my condition, which you haven't healed. Do you want to be healed? Yes, uh, of course, if, if that's possible. I think you've seen enough to know it's possible. Then why haven't you? Because I trust you. What? Little James. Precious little James. I need you to listen to me very carefully. Because what I'm going to say defines your whole life to this point and will define the rest of your life. Do you understand? In the Father's will, I could heal you, right now. And you'd have a good story to tell, yes? Yes, that you do miracles. And that's a good story. But there are already dozens who can tell that story. And there will be hundreds more, even thousands. But think of the story that you have, especially in this journey to come, if I don't heal you. to know how to proclaim that you still praise God in spite of this. To know how to focus on all that matters so much more than the body. To show people that you can be patient with your suffering here on earth because you know you'll spend eternity with no suffering. Not everyone can understand that. How many people do you think the Father and I trust this with? Hmm? Not many. But the others, there's so much more. So much more what? I don't know. Stronger? Better at this? James, I love you. But I don't want to hear that ever again. I know how easy it is to say the Song of David, that I fearfully and wonderfully made. But it doesn't make this any easier. And in this group, it doesn't make me feel like any less of a burden. A burden? First of all, it 
it is far easier to deal with your slow walking than it is to deal with Simon's temper. <laughs> Trust me. Are you fast? Do you look impressive when you walk? Maybe not. But these are things the father doesn't care about. Come on. You are going to do more for me than most people ever dream. So many people need healing in order to believe in me. Or they need healing because their hearts are so sick. That doesn't apply to you. And many are healed or not healed because the Father in Heaven has a plan for them which may be a mystery. And we remember what Job said. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you pass from this earth and you meet your Father in Heaven, where Isaiah promises you will leap like a deer, your reward will be great. So hold on a little longer. And when you discover yourself finding true strength because of your weakness, and when you do great things in my name, in spite of this, the impact will last for generations. Do you understand? Yes. Thank you, Master. A man like you, healing others, Oh, what a sight. I can't wait to hear your stories when you return. Shalom, my son. Shalom. And James. Remember. You will be healed. It's only a matter of time. Was powerful. He's always up to something. Guys, hello. Hello, Matthew. Um, sh shalom. <laughs> Did I say it wrong? No, no, no. I just I didn't expect to see you here. I'm stationed here. Um, are you moving back in? No, no, I, I cannot live here anymore. Nobody wants the best house on the block? It'll be used for the ministry. By friends of yours? I suppose they are my friends, yes. Doubt the neighbors would like it. As long as order is kept. And if they're friends of yours, I'll make sure to... 
uh, we uh, patrol the area regularly for your safety and the general peace. Are you well? Never better. Yourself? It's okay, guys. They're just here to eat. Many of us will leave Capernaum for missionary work. For how long? We don't. It'll be dangerous. I must go now, guys. Trust your wits, Matthew. I will see you around. Caius is trying to get saved. Matthew had his backup show up. Welcome to my home that I no longer live in. Oh. Say the hard part first. This might be the last time we're all together for a while. What's the easy part? Who said there was an easy part? I just held my wife as she tried to accept the idea that I would be the one making Pharisees and Romans upset the way Jesus does. It scares her. But not you. Of course it does. The unknowns are overwhelming. Are we ready? I'm terrified. I'm not afraid. Except for Z, who is never afraid of anything. Philip, you've done this kind of thing before. You have any thoughts? Well, I've done a little preaching, but I've never done anything like this. All I can say is that it's scary when you upset powerful people, but it's worth it. Preach. This is what we signed up for. We uh, may not have known it at the time, but we go where he sends us. Look, Master has told us what to do. We've seen how he does it, so we have what we need. Whoever you go with, let's stay strong together. I'm sure he put us with our partners for a reason. Let's make the most of it. Let's gather around. Come on, stand next to your partner. Would you be okay with a former tax collector? A former zealot? I probably couldn't do it myself, but Master knows you're a better man than I am. Can I trust you? Be fine. Come on, all of us. Matthew, I know you hate it, but you too. When I was with Eden, a song of David came to mind. The one when he fled from Absalom. I shared it with Eden as a reminder because she was fearful. I think we need it too. Oh Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there is no salvation for him in God. But you, you Lord, Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I will not be afraid of the many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. 
Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek. You break the teeth of the wicked. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be on your people. Wow. Is that it? Wow, that was so good. All right, let me know in the chat. What did you guys think? Woo, that was good. That was so good. Yeah, it, it's like, man, to see the humanity side of them, you always hear about them. Hold on, let me find my earphones here. You always hear about them and you just read the story, but you're like, these are real people that had real struggles. So that's what I love about The Chosen is it shows that humanity side. Let me know in the chat. What did you guys think? Someone said epic, powerful, awesome. I, my favorite scene was the one where they commissioned the 12 disciples to go out and they're like, wait, we're going to heal people. Wait, we're going to preach to people. What are you talking about? I love that. That was so awesome. What did you guys think? Let me know in the chat. What'd you think? Let me turn this on here. So good. Amazing. Awesome. It was great. The first, all right, I'm not trying to be that guy, but the first like 30, 40 minutes, I was like, ah, it was a little slow. I'm like, where's Jesus? But then the last like 30 minutes was really good. I just, I mean, obviously everybody wants to see the scenes with Jesus in it, but yeah, I'm like, I just want to see more scenes with Jesus for sure. Great experience related to little James. That was episode two, season three, episode two. So every Sunday at four o'clock Pacific, they're going to release a new episode. So we're going to watch the new episode when it's released, but there's no more episodes. I know a lot of you are like, watch more, another episode. There's no more episodes. They're going to release it next week. So I'll be doing it every week for the next, I don't know, month, month and a half. So good, I'll be here next week. 2,500 people, which is awesome. It's a pretty big watch party. Favorite part was Little James. I know some people are saying, what are your thoughts on Little James? Obviously, that wasn't in the scripture. I thought about when Paul was asking the Lord to take the thorn in his flesh, and he said, I prayed three times for the Lord to take it, and the Lord responded with, no, I'm not going to take it because my strength is perfected in your weakness. So is it against the character of God for Jesus to say, I'm not going to heal you because you're going to be better with this weakness? No, it's not against his character. He did that with Peter. I'm sorry. He did that with Paul. We know those other disciples that were sick. And we know Jesus oftentimes, even at the pool of Bethesda, only healed one person when there was tons of sick people. So God can do whatever he wants to do. I know some of you watch that scene and you're like, why wouldn't Jesus just heal him? And how could God, but here's the thing, you're not God, you're not Jesus, his ways are not our ways. If you look at the man that was blind, everyone said, was it his sin, his parents' sin? And Jesus said, it was none of that. It was this way so that the glory of God can be revealed in him. So you're like, how could a guy born blind, how could he be blind? Well, it was for the purpose of God's glory to be revealed. So these questions that we ask and these frustrations we have of why am I sick? I know people were crying saying, I'm sick in body and God hasn't healed me and now I know why. All these questions we ask, we have to remember that we are not God, we are finite and we don't have to understand all of it. This is what religious people try to do. If God heals today, if deliverance for today, why doesn't this make sense? Why is there still people in the hospital? Why don't you go clear to hospital, Isaiah? All of these questions are human finite questions that you're trying to ask about an infinite God whose ways are greater than ours, who could see a thousand years ahead of time before he makes one decision. And we're only seeing a day. You know, we're not even, we can't even see what's going to come tomorrow. We literally can't even see what's going to happen tomorrow. And yet God can see a billion years from now and we're questioning why he's not healing our body or why he's not delivering our family or why he's not doing something. And the answer is, he, you're not God. His ways are not our ways. So I don't get stuck on these things of like, oh, what about this and why is this happening to me and why is God allowing me to go through this? I just know I trust God. I have faith in God. And whatever he's letting me go through, I'm growing through it and I'm in gaining endurance. And the trials are a blessing, the Bible says, because in those trials, the Bible says celebrate because you could gain endurance, you can gain strength, and you can grow in your faith. So they're, they're an opportunity, the, the trials are an opportunity to be tested. And in the testing, the Bible says your faith grows. So that's what I thought about the scene for those of you that were asking, what was my take on it? I love when he set the 12, cause they're just humans. They're like, wait, what? We're not going with anything. What are we going to say? What are we going to do? We're going to heal the sick. We're going to cast out demons. And it just makes it really, really alive and real. And then at the end, I love the last scene where they're coming together, like afraid and man, it's just so real. It's so real. They did such a good job on this series. It's so, so real. And it just bring, makes the Bible come alive. Like you'll never read, at least I won't, Matthew 10, where he sends the disciples. I can't read it the same. You'll never read these stories the same because now I've watched them. They're, they're more alive to me. So I love that. Again, if you're, you know, if you're a hater, then just don't watch. Just don't watch. Go back and watch your Marvel series. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you about it. And for those of you asking, was it made by Mormons? No, it was not made by Mormons. It was made by Dallas Jenkins, who's an evangelical Christian. 
who has said several times he is the he is the only one that has creative authority in the show so there's no one making decisions there's no mormons making decisions dallas jenkins has full authority on the creative directing on the show so that's that i made a video on it if you want to watch of people accusing him of using the book of mormon and blah 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 it's not true don't listen to heresy hunters and fake news okay the heresy hunters they are against this show they don't watch it so just if you feel convicted of watching it don't watch it but don't ruin it for those of us that like it you just got to go to fiji you know got the fancy fiji water courtesy of my wife thank you for the fiji water all right someone said love the series jesus said i'm the way the truth and the life in john 14 6. someone said that's right so good so good what psalm did they pray i'm not sure what that was i'm sure you can find it though if you google it i don't know it off someone said psalms 3. oh psalms 3. i don't want to miss the four o'clock movie night yes it'll be every sunday four o'clock pacific time we'll be watching this for sure every sunday well every sunday i'm home so is i don't know if there's a christmas episode is there i don't know if there's an episode coming out i mean i guess i can check is there an episode coming out on christmas i don't know what our full plans are but uh let's see yeah there is there's an episode on christmas so not 100 sure if i'll watch it or not but i'll keep you guys posted i'll keep you posted we have church on sunday and then uh, we'll be with family and stuff but maybe maybe i'll still do it christmas special we'll see there is yes there is okay we'll see i don't know how many people would watch on christmas but let me see well then i have my monday stream oh you know what i don't have a monday stream do i, I think i canceled it maybe we do it monday because I cancel, I'm canceling my streams. We'll, we'll see, we'll figure it out. My last stream of the year is gonna be Tuesday night. So tomorrow night we'll be live at six o'clock Pacific doing the Book of John part two that you don't wanna miss. I'm telling you, don't play games. Get your Bible out and follow along. If you're not following in the Book of John with us, I don't know what you're even doing with your life. And then Tuesday will be our last podcast of the year. Tomorrow will be our last Monday of the year. And then we will not be streaming on Friday because we have family coming over Friday. And then I'm taking the next week off the week of Christmas. And then we have our New Year's event, which by the way, we will be in Tennessee on New Year's and New Year's Day. And then I'll be coming home for our first live stream of the year, which is going to be on Monday night, January 2nd. So yeah, you don't want to miss that. Go to Fiji for revival, right? About 12 p.m. Monday here in New Zealand. Watching from Poland, 2.17 a.m. Listen, thank you guys for watching from all over the world. Poland, 2 in the morning. Some of you are watching in South Africa, Philippines, Australia. We appreciate you guys. How many episodes are there? Very good question. I have no clue, but I can find out for you right now. Okay, there is... I'll tell you right now. So, eight episodes, I think. Yeah, eight episodes. So, we have about two months. Two months of The Chosen. About, well, about a month and a half, because we've already done two episodes. So, we have a month and a half of The Chosen. So, that'll be fun. That'll be good. I'm trying not to talk through the show. I know some of you are like, just go ahead and talk. But hey, some of us just like to watch it. And you know, I just, I'll give my thoughts at the end. We'll let, them, we'll let the show flow. We'll let it flow and watch it. And uh, you know, I don't have to be that annoying cousin that interrupts every five seconds. I'm gonna get off here soon. Six more to go, yes. I just wanna jump on here, watch it, and then we'll jump off. And then I'll be live tomorrow for over two hours and live on Tuesday for two hours. Such a blessing, I'm glad. You can watch it for free. Why was someone spamming Hail Satan? I don't know. People always come in and spam Hail Satan. They're bored, I guess. But, you know, they get invited to the block party. Listen, we have unlimited invites to the block party. So if you want to act crazy in our chat, you will get an invite and you will have a one-way ticket to the block party. And uh, you'll have to make a new account if you want to get back in the chat. That's how it is. Okay, we're not afraid of hitting people with the band hammer, putting them in the, biting them to the block party. Plenty of room. Un unlimited invites, unlimited room at the block party. I like when you talk in the show. Thank you, Lauren. I appreciate you. Yes, thank you for the consideration. See, two comments back to back. One person said, thanks for considering it and not talking. One person said, I like when you talk. So, yeah. What time are you live tomorrow? Six o'clock Pacific time. Please be there the last Monday of the year. That would be great. I probably should have put this as the last Monday of the year, but uh, I didn't put it. Maybe I'll post it or something. I don't know. Thank you, Anonymous, for the donation. Yeah, and the Satanist. Oh, we do. Don't worry. Block party. No, not block party. Block party. The block party is where we block people. We invite them and block them. Are you lying about people's bodies getting restored? I don't know what that means. I don't know when I said that. I think you had the perfect amount of commentary tonight. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
Hit the like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe to the video. What else do we have to talk about? Okay, we have New Year's event. We have our event in Arizona. We have our live stream tomorrow and Tuesday. Oh, we're building a new studio right now, so we're ordering tons of stuff. Our new cameras just came in. I have them. I don't know where. I'll, maybe I'll put them on stream later. But we have our new cameras that are coming in, new lighting, new everything, and uh, we have a new location. This will be all happening still. I'll still be doing Monday, Tuesday. Everything will remain the same other than we'll be adding on to the new studio. So some Tuesdays I will not be Zoom call. I will be in person with my guest. Okay, and we're going to have other content Q&As where we'll just hang out, talk, sit on the couch. It'll be more informal as the teachings we do here but i'll still have this studio we'll still do everything that we're doing as normal but we're going to be adding the new studio the new content the new set and all that type of stuff have some family on my wife will be on different people it'll be more casual it won't be so like produced as this is you know what i mean it'll be different but it will be live as well still so we're going to be doing live still and it'll be really really good so be excited good stuff coming in 2023 and hopefully by God's grace, we can hit a million subscribers. We'll see. That's our goal. But, you know, we're praying. We'll see what God does. I learned how to make bread. Awesome. God bless you. God bless you, Melissa. All right. Someone said thank you, Isaiah. Okay. I think that's everything. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. I'll be live tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Thank you for being here and staying. If you want to give, the links are all down below to give. We don't really do donation stuff on this stream. We just watch it, and then we kind of, like, go for it. So... W Jesus L Satan. Yeah, Satan's for sure a huge L. Okay. Love you guys. Appreciate you guys. See ya later. Goodbye. Goodbye. Where's the stream ending? There it is. Oh, hey. Didn't see you. I was just chilling down there listening. If this if you've enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Super easy, super free. Helps a lot. Alright, so right now stop what you're doing, hit like. Okay, I'm going back down here. Bye. Make sure that you guys like the video. Do it for the bird. Why is there a bird on your screen? I don't really know. He just, you know, kind of appeared one day and has never left. So go ahead and do us a favor. Like, like, like. Like, like, like. Don't be scared to like the video. Share it with a friend or family member. Okay? See you guys. Have a good night. No tickets required for New Year's. Just show up. It starts at 5. I would get there early. And we're going to be in a tent, so dress warm, but it will be warm in the tent, but just in case. Good night, good night, good night. Someone's at Holy Ghost Pigeon. Good night, guys. Awesome stream. It's fun hanging out with you guys and watching a movie with 2,500 people. Fly free, Carl. Yeah, you know, he just chills. He doesn't fly away for some reason. He just, you know, doesn't really fly around too much. Maybe his wings are clipped. Who knows? How long is the episodes? Oh, the last two are an hour. The New Year's event is free 99. Free.